Welcome back to our Sunday School Online today! How are you kids? I hope everyone is happy and healthy! Oh, I'm so glad to be here and to see all of you guys! Now kids, before we start our Sunday School Online today, let's prepare our heart, let's prepare our mind, so we can praise and worship Him with all our heart. Now, let's pray together. When I say how to pray, you say, Hands together, close your eyes. Okay? How to pray? Hands together, close your eyes. Let's pray together. Dear Lord, thank you for the wonderful day. Now, we are going to start our Sunday School online today. Please bless us, Lord, so we can praise and worship you with all our heart. Thank you, to, thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Okay, kids. Now, let's stand up and sing together with me with Christ in your face. Smile at the storm, smile at the storm, smile at the storm With Christ in the vessel we can smile at the storm As we go sailing home Sailing, sailing home, sailing, sailing home With Christ in the vessel we can smile at the storm As we go sailing home with Christ in the vessel, we can smile at the storm as we go sailing home. With Christ in the vessel, we can at the storm, at the storm, at the storm. With Christ in the vessel, we can at the storm as we go sailing home. Sailing, sailing home, sailing, sailing home. With Christ in the vessel we can at the storm as we go sailing home Sailing, sailing home, sailing, sailing home With Christ in the vessel we can smile at the storm as we go sailing home Wonderful song. Do you know kids through that song we can learn with Christ we can do all things. So don't be afraid because we have God in our life. Now kids, it's time to memorize first from the Bible. It's taken from Acts 9 verse 20 B. It's taken from Acts 9 verse 20 B. Follow me. Jesus is the Son of God. Repeat once again. Jesus is the Son of God. Good job, kid. Now it's your turn. Good job. Now time to listen about God's story but before we listen about God's story let's sing a song again with me sing for joy hallelujah let's sing it together with me kids The Savior came to save us. The Savior came to save us. He came to give us life. He came to give us life. The Savior came to free us. The Savior came to free us. He left his throne on high. He left his throne on high. He said, Believe in me. Believe in me. He said, Receive.
The Savior came to save us. The Savior came to save us. He came to give us life. He came to give us life. The Savior came to free us. The Savior came to free us. He left his throne on high. He left his throne on high. He said, Believe in me. Believe in me. He said, Receive. Morning, boys and girls. This is Ibu Tina. Today, I'm going to tell you a story from the Bible, and it's about a party. Have you ever been to a party? What do you usually do in a party? Hmm. Before we listen to the story, let's pray. Okay? Can you repeat after me? Let's pray. My hands are praying just like this, dear God. Thank you for today. Thank you for all the blessings that you gave to us. Please bless us and guide us as we listen to your words. We love you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. All God's children say, Amen. So this is the story from the Bible. So a long time ago, there was a wedding in Canaan. And Jesus and his mom, Mary, were here. They attended the wedding. So these women and men, they were married. They're getting married. And then you know, married is when they are becoming one in front of God, like mommy and daddy. So now they are together. So they had a party. Da, 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 da. Oh, and look, what is she drinking? Do you know what is that? That's the grape juice that only adults can drink. We call it wine. So that's the wine and everybody, look, look, look. Everybody is drinking and then having fun in the party and this servant is pouring the wine to all the guests mm, and they are drinking mm, it was so good have you ever attend a wedding usually in a wedding we dance we have fun we eat and we drink so that's what's the highlight from the party Hmm, I wonder if there is no food, will the party be fun? What do you think? <gasps> Just soon after that, the servant looks sad. Both of them look sad. Why? I wonder. Let's check. The jug is empty. There's no more wine. That's why the servants are sad and worried. Oh no, what are we going to serve? 
to the guest now. Oh no! And the bride and the groom looked worried, panicked, and said, "Oh no! What are we going to do? The the wine is running out." They were so worried. Hmm. And then, can you see that woman? That's Mary. And Mary listened to the conversation. She knew that the wine has run out. I wonder what will Mary do. You know, Mary knew that Jesus was the Son of God. So Mary told Jesus to do something with the wine. But Jesus said, Mary, Mom, why did you ask me to do this? It's not my time yet. To do the special job from God, and then you know, Mary told the servant to to do whatever that Jesus told them to do, and they listen. Jesus told the servant to fill in all the jugs with water. Hmm, why with water? Everybody don't want to drink the water. All the people want to drink wine, a good grape juice. Hmm, but they listened to Jesus. Jesus said, "Fill in all those jugs with water," and so they did. They start pouring the jugs with water. What do you think will happen to the jugs? You know. Soon after Jesus told them to fill in the jugs with water, the jugs, when the servant poured into the glasses, it turned into a a yummy wine. Wow! So Jesus turned the water into wine. A very, very super duper duper super delicious wine. So that was Jesus's miracle, turning water into wine. And you know what people at the wedding say about the wine? The people from the party loved the wine so much, even more than the first wine that they served. And so everybody is happy, and then they're drinking wine, and then they say, "Hmm, you serve the best for the last." Usually, people serve the best wine at the very beginning of the party, but you serve the best for the last, and this is so yummy. People love the wine, and then the bride and the groom, you know, they say thank you to Jesus and Mary, and then that was the first miracle that Jesus did. Turning the water into wine, and the bride and the groom they thank Jesus, and then they were so amazed. They were so amazed at what Jesus can do. Mary knew it will happen because Mary knew that Jesus was the Son of God. Now, Ibutina has a question. Hmm. Can anyone turn water into wine other than Jesus? Hmm. Ibu Tina wants to try turning water into wine. Ibu Tina has here an empty jar, and then Ibu Tina also have here water. So Ibu Tina wants to pour the water and try. Will it turn into wine? What's the color of the water? It's transparent, right? Let's try to pour. How can it happen? Did I just do miracle? No, no, no. That was a trick. Ibutina pour the food color at the bottom of the jar. Oh no, Ibutina, you're so silly. Ibutina cannot do miracle, and only Jesus that can do miracle. Jesus is the Son of God, and He can do anything that He wants to help 
people. Jesus can do miracle and the water turning into wine was the first miracle that Jesus did. From the story, we learned that Jesus is powerful. And you know, people at that time started to trust Jesus. And we learned that Jesus has all the glory because he is the son of God. And we need to thank God that we have a powerful God and a super powerful and kind and the best God that we can have. So we want to thank God that He is a powerful God. Let's pray. My hands are praying just like this. Dear God, thank you for all the miracles that you did for us. We want to trust you more. Thank you for being so powerful in our lives. We love you, Lord. Please help us to obey our mommy and daddy at home. In Jesus' name we pray. All God's children say, Amen. Thank you for listening, friends.